Oh, whoa. Retreat, <laughs> retreat. Oh my God, they're all just, what are these villagers doing, dude? <laughs> that's so cheap. You are not my villager. Cause dude, that's hella cheap. Oh, no way. Oh, this is scary. He said, nah, fam. Yeah, look at him. He's shaking his head and everything at me. Welcome back here to episode seven of Hardcore Mondays. Today, I think what we're gonna be doing is playing around with some villagers. We need to get some of these guys leveled up and get trades going so that way we can get fortune and start getting like tools and everything that we can buy. We need to check the cow farm over here. We should have a decent amount of leather and then we can start making some books with the sugar cane that we planted last week and uh, start getting some lecterns going. I think I wanna get like a few librarians. Like I wanna get the fortune guy, obviously, so we can go down and find diamonds and obviously like, you know, make a decent amount when we go and mine them and then i also want to get like a couple farmers that we can trade with and uh, a couple like toolsmiths or whatever so we can trade and get like diamond pickaxes and stuff i think if we get those three that'll get us a pretty good start breeding and trading hall today uh we might do the breeder today i just want to mostly get like a couple trades and stuff set up what am i doing here i need to grab sugar cane and uh make some books so we can make some lecterns but i mostly just want to get like the fortune and everything so that way we can like start caving go down find some diamonds and all that stuff we should have enough villagers over there to at least get like the first couple that we need like a fortune on breaking we can deal with like the breeding and everything later i don't know if we'll necessarily have to do that right away we got one we can at least try and get mending or unbreaking three or fortune all right we got to wait for that shit to grow up i should have planted that way sooner last episode we got one lector and we can go start rolling see if we can at least get one villager come on buddy just try and go to sleep your bed's right there it looks nice and cozy i'm can wait does he not have a bed in here oh he don't have a bed in here that's why he's trying to get out i thought that was a bed that's just a stair all right we're going in all right do i have a bed on me no i don't that would have been nice to grab that way we don't uh spawn a million creepers here around us all right i'm gonna run back grab a bed and then we'll do that <laughs> Rule one of hardcore, always bring your bed. Actually, let's do this. Let's do a prediction. Do we get fortune? Do we get mending? Or do we get unbreaking first? Because I think those will be the three that we decide to keep. It's going to be curse uh, binding. Well, no, that's not one. We can re-roll the <laughs> thing multiple times. Which one of these three do you think we're going to get first? All right. So while that's going, I guess we're going to actually run back over here and grab some more sugar cane and stuff while this is growing. I'm still curious who's gonna get the the first person that's gonna get the Hall of Fame. Cause whenever somebody actually redeems that, we got a build to do, which hopefully we'll uh, still be alive in the hardcore. Let's give this guy a little bit more room. I feel like I'm making it all claustrophobic in here. All right, we need to get fortune, mending, or unbreaking. Let's start rolling. I was gonna say, dude, if we get on the first one, that would have been so sick. <laughs> we'll just leave these guys trapped in their little houses for right now and then Oh, that's kind of nice. 58 emeralds is expensive, though. But we'll just leave these guys trapped in their houses for now, and then we'll come back after we uh, get some materials and everything built up. So, touch. Let's go. Let's go, baby. 11 emeralds, too? I need paper to trade with them, though. <laughs> oh, no. So, we need to uh, we need to get sugarcane growing, like, super fast. Dude, is he going to lose his trade? No, he won't unless I like walk out of his spawn radius, right? As long as he stays locked in here and he can't change jobs. Because dude, that's hella cheap. For Silk Touch? All right, let's see here. Manage predictions. Oh, no way. I didn't even have Silk Touch as an option yet. All right, we got to still keep going for that. I thought I put Silk Touch in there. <laughs> All right, fortune mending unbreaking. He can if he unlinks from the station. So as long as I keep him locked in here, then he should be good, right? You don't unlink or I swear I'll be so sad. No, that's so cheap. All right, next villager. We got to get fortune mending or unbreaking this one has two in it don't it see if we got another house that has a single villager hey let's go no no stay in the house no no, no. hey you put a slab by the door so you can crouch in but keep him in there oh that would have been a good idea that would have been a good idea no guarantee that he won't lose his job they do weird stuff yeah i know it's minecraft guess we'll just have to keep the fingers crossed because we uh don't have any way to lock it in right now we need to wait for our sugar cane to grow i guess we might have enough right there right now let's just go grab that and see if that's enough paper to lock him in and then we'll come back and hopefully that guy's back in his house paper how much do we have 14 was that enough Ooh, that might be close all right, let's see here. Bam, slab. Oh, look at me. Jay's coming in at the money tips. Oh, no, it's 24. All right, we got to wait longer. You going up here to this house? Where are you going? It's nighttime. <laughs> you are not my villager. Shut the doors. Oh, I'm going to go grab my bed. Yeah, that's super nice. Slabs above the doors. Crouch under. Villager, stay in. All right, boys. I got to get one of the three. Bam. Where'd he go? Oh, do you, do you like that job or no? But, um, 
sir. Come on, dude. He's like smirking at me. He's like, yeah, I ain't working that, buddy. <laughs> nice try. He said, nah, fam. Yeah, look at him. He's shaking his head and everything at me. You're not a nitwit, dude. Get to work. You got a job to do. Get on there. Why are you hanging up? Let's just do this. We're gonna break these little blocks that you like to stand on up here. Why don't you come down on my level, my guy? Now he looks happy. Can he not like walk up? Okay. Could he not like walk up to it? All right, boys. We start the roll. We need mending, fortune, or unbreaking. Hey, don't you try and leave. Oh, there's mending, baby. Let's go. Who got mending? Who predicted mending? Zero. Nobody. <laughs> No, everybody loses. You're all losers. <laughs> well, we got two of these set up. I guess we don't know if they'll stay. We're about to find out. So we got mending and we got, what, unbreaking was the other one? Or no, fort, no, silk touch. We got mending and silk touch. Okay, so, so far, I didn't look how expensive that one is. I think it was like 30 emeralds, which isn't like terribly bad. But uh, so far, these uh librarian trades aren't going too bad. All right, so we need to like expand this sugarcane farm. Hey, we can lock in one. Um, Probably lock in silk touch first, according that's like insanely cheap for 14 em emeralds. Because dude, 14 emeralds for silk touch right off the rip with no like zombifying or anything is insanely cheap. Please still have your trade. Let's go. And we got an emerald. Oh, oh, 11 emeralds? I thought it was 14. All right, let's go, guy. I will take that. 11 emeralds, silk touch. Nice. First villager trade. Let's go. First villager trade and an insanely cheap first villager trade. All right, let's expand this a little bit. I need a bucket. Where's the bucket? Um. Oh, they're probably all out here at the lava farm. We got plenty of iron, though. All right, boys. First use of the iron farm. Hey, why are you stuck in the wall? There you go. Need a little tap in. Iron farm is already becoming useful right off rip i like it grab a little bit of water we can extend what? okay inventory is already full all right let's extend the sugarcane farm and then we'll probably look up a video and maybe get that villager breeder going that didn't take too long last time i don't think the only thing is is i think we needed some redstone stuff so we might end up having to go do a little bit of caving all right so we need to build this somewhere like right here around the sugarcane farm that way this is at least growing the whole time oh uh, let's maybe go mine up some andesite real quick i think we need to probably go find some redstone some gold Old. All right, couple pickaxes, extra shovel. We're all ironed up, aren't we? Yeah. All right, let's go try and grab some resources. All right, what are we, seven episodes in now and we're starting our first mine. Slow claps. Hey, let's go. We're making progress. Dude, so I was listening to uh, Spawn Chunk's podcast today at work and I uh, can't remember what the guy's name is they had on. They had one of the Mo Yang devs on. It was the guy that like helped work on the, oh, what's it called? The new mallet. I want to try that thing so bad now after listening to him talk about it all day today. But I don't know. I think the new, uh, the new features that are coming up in the next update are gonna be cool as hell. I almost kind of wish that Minecraft would maybe do like their whole like release cycle a little different than Mace. There you go. I wish they'd honestly do their whole release cycle just like slightly different. That way like everything didn't seem like old news by the time it actually comes out because so many people have messed around with it and snapshots and everything, which I get that that's how they like do their testing and get ideas and get the community to talk about stuff and kind of bounce things back and forth. But it makes it kind of just feel like once the like full release actually comes out that everything's kind kind of not as new, I guess, as it would normally feel in like a release of most other games that kind of make you wait to find out what's like coming in the next update. But I don't know, that may sounds like it's going to be hella fun to play around with, especially on the SMP and be able to like mess around with people and troll people. Wait, do I not have my shield on me? I don't, do I? No. Oh, okay. Let's uh go grab that. Um, What was I just grabbing? Oh yeah, I need my shield, which I just dumped into a chest randomly somewhere. So let's try and find out where we put that shield. All right, bam. Let's see. Do we have any torches? made or have coal that we can make a few with or six i'll just steal this stuff for now honestly i think oh hello guy see that you see him where'd that creeper go how big is this hole right here oh hello hello okay kind of nervous right now it's a, a little bit nervous right now where'd that creeper go oh there's a skelly right there oh what am i doing are you f***ing serious no way did that just happen oh my god holy shit let's go dude You missed it? <laughs> I mean, I missed it. I didn't see it again. Oh boy. What, what, what did we make it in? How many days are we? 67. Damn, dude. Another hardcore world down. Hardcore Mondays. Hey, I appreciate the sub, Ghost. Hardcore Mondays. What is this? The fourth world? So hardcore Mondays four. Hardcore difficulty, hard, allow cheats off. All right, boys, world number four. Let's jump in and see what we get here. A little bad little starter area though. Got a bed right away, that's good. 
Sorry, sheep. I'm sorry. I gotta do it to you. <laughs> so, uh, who's ready for another three-hour iron farm session? Aye. Sorry, I gotta punch you to death. Last one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta do it. First tree, world four, hardcore. Let's go. Dude. <laughs> hey, now. Wait, have I, I haven't died to anything but a creeper, right? No, I died to a skeleton on World 2. Dude, if I could just get to the point... What's up? What's up, Jace? If I could just get to the point, though, to where I had diamond armor and uh, some gear, I'd be fucking solid. <laughs> I just can't get there. We don't talk about World 2. Yeah, I posted that death on, uh, was it either TikTok or YouTube? And some kid commented on it. He's like, have you ever played Minecraft before? And I was like, yeah, entirely too much to admit that I died to this. All right. Well, whoops, that's not what I want to do. I don't want a full wood block. We want that. Crafting bench. No, dude, we lost white shoes. Rip white shoes. Now, do we get a village right next to us again? Do we get that lucky? Well, let's make ourselves a bed here. All right, that is solved now. Find yourself a sunken ship first this time maybe oh uh, we could possibly try that armor gear get some iron and food a boot do something a little different to start out here this time that's what i was saying though like that's definitely one thing that playing these hardcore worlds is gonna do for me which like as you guys can probably tell from watching the videos and everything that uh i am not the greatest at early game in this video game i uh typically get into a world and then get set and you know just build so the beginning game stuff like the early farms doing all this kind of stuff is not something i'm like typically strong at it definitely gives me like something to play around with and work and try and uh, get better at this early game stuff. Well, let's see what we get down here at this ruined portal. No drown down here, the trident, right? We got a chest. Yes, we do. Oh, we got some obsidian. A little oxygen and back up we go. Hey, we got a little armor. What did we have on those? Oh my God, I was say, please don't have a uh, curse of binding or something. Not that they would last very long, but it, all right. Let's see if I turn shaders off. Is that, yeah, that actually makes, that's kind of nice right next to spawn. We're going to avoid that for now though. Check it out, dude. <laughs> All right, that was easy. Almost entirely surface too. There should be at least one chest in this guy. Front end of the ship's all gone, but there should be at least be the captain's chest. Maybe two chests in this still. One up top and one down below. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll take it. Goaded first chest out of the sunken ship. Goaded first chest. Oh wait, you know what we need to make? We need to make a chest boat. I've like never made one of those in game yet. Ah. Let's go. We got paper. Now we can go do the buried treasure. Let me see here. Let me make a let me make a chest boat. Did I uh do I have enough wood? We can always break this boat down a little bit. I guess if we have to. Chest boat. Not a mangrove boat with chest. What do I need? Oh, I need the boat. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess I could take the chest from down here. Am I gonna be able to break this one in time or do we go get the other one? Oh, we're gonna have enough time to break this. Oh, it's gonna be hella close. I'm not doing it. No! We'll get the other one. <laughs> I can stand here and break this one. Chest boat, baby. This will be the first chest boat that I've ever made. We already got a decent little start going here. I'm not gonna lie. And then can I just bam? Nope. How do I how do I access the chest? What is going on right now? Why am I like stuck? I can't move. Oh, are these broken? How do you wait? How do you access the chest? Oh, you just have to hit the E button. It's like a horse. All right, we're learning here. We're learning here. All right, let's go find ourselves maybe one more sunken ship and then we'll go do some maps kind of boat around here kind of look at our surrounding areas see what kind of biomes and stuff we got around here because the good thing about being in a boat is uh we don't lose hunger so we can kind of grab some stuff see what biomes we got maybe find an area that we actually want to stay and hang out in for a bit got a little ice biome did we get food at all out of that or no? We have mutton, but it's not cooked. Grab these pumpkins. We'll go to sleep and then we'll go find that boat. The opposite way of the ice. Okay, I got you. Got you. Got you. Oil. You know, I don't know if you were just here a minute ago. <laughs> we already lost one world today to a creeper. Give me a little PTSD, my guy. Yeah, you did miss it. Hey, we got another ruined portal right there, though. Yeah, that's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's like, there's another boat, dude. It's like, dude, that's the boat we just left. <laughs> Wait, is that? No, that's not a ruined portal. That's one of those. That's probably got drowns around it. We're not going to play around with that right now. So let's go try and find one more sunken ship and find another treasure map. And then we can have two of those that we can go search. The trick allows you to see underwater without the water. So, oh, like that. You got to have it like just right. Okay, that's not bad. Let's get out of here though before we get smoked by a trident. Oh, there's a chest right there. Do either one of these guys have a trident on them? Can I stand in the boat maybe and uh, reach that? What the? No way. There's a trident guy here. I'm dead. <laughs> no. 
Where did he come from? Wait, so did you start a new hardcore world or did you say screw it and start a right? I did another hardcore. Dude, I looked around too. I was like, is there a, tra is there a drown guy? I didn't know that he could break my boat either. Guys, <laughs> this is starting off hella rough today. Dude, they can break your boat? Yeah, he broke the boat on me. I turned around and all my items were just floating in the water. The tridents? Yeah, I know. He threw the trident at me and it must have hit the boat instead of, it's just a good start if you don't meet a trident. That is very true. My lord. Skellies can too any projectile all right well world five we might have an entire episode of just me dying Th this might be a thing <laughs> create new world hardcore mondays five create new world we might try that uh, that little uh that strategy again though go for the sunken ships except this time uh we're gonna <laughs> stay away from anything that has a trident i mean i've played like years on a hard world it's not like <laughs> it's th that's not hard there's no difficulty to that because there's no like consequence to dying so then i just i don't even at that point i don't even care on here, you know, like, I don't know. I guess I just don't think about it. And I try to not care. And then <laughs> we get hit with Tridance, dude. Well, dude, started in a nice, uh, nice little dark oak forest here. This is something new. We haven't started in dark oak yet. We can find maybe a small one of these guys to break down with our hands. There we go. This one will be easy to break down. Start off with a little birch tree. What's up, Jace? World five, death from tree. Yeah. You don't die to a creeper that time? Hey, I didn't, dude. That is true. We're expanding our death horizons. So far, we've got creeper twice, skelly once, trident. All right, crafting bench. Where's all the sheep at now? Hey, we got iron right here. I'll take a little iron to start. All right, let's go find ourselves some sheep. What's the odds that we got a woodland mansion in that starting uh, dark oak forest? That would be kind of sick. Brandon, we are not going to go try and do that right now. It would be kind of fun, though. Yeet ourselves into a woodland mansion right off rib. Yeah, there's some pumpkins. Pro tip, uh, don't get in caves. Strip mines instead. It's way safer. Only go in caves when you got better armor. Yeah, so yeah, that was probably the mistake I made on the, the last world. We tried just doing a normal strip mine and then i broke down into a cave and uh it didn't even give me a chance i literally hit the ground and the creeper blew up behind me eat the pig where'd the pig go piggy, 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 piggy. can you eat pumpkins no i don't think you can i think the only thing you can do is make uh can you make like pies with them i think it's just like pies that you make with them if i remember right all right well this is a kind of dangerous little area i just want to look just taking a peek all right let's hit the ocean no you need to make is pumpkin pie i've only ever used pumpkins for golems you never use the pumpkin for like the the head to go in and fight the dragon so you can look at enderman i think that's the only time i've ever used a pumpkin now nah, you just don't look at enderman well yeah you've seen how i play though so <laughs> i could attempt to not look at enderman it's probably gonna happen though all right let's make ourselves a little boot maybe boat chest chest boat Sell some fish, get a little food and XP. Well, look at that, dude. Ocean monument right off rip again. All right. Well, we got that. Let's see, if we just go right across the ocean over here. What we got on the other side, real quick. Go raid it. Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> we'll definitely live through that. No problem. Where is the sunken ship at, baby? How big is this ocean? That's the question. We're not going near it. We're staying as far away from that right there as possible. That's your new starter base. You got to invict the current tenants. Yeah, I don't know if that one's happening. I have a feeling I'd try and go in and force an eviction and they would be like, sorry, sir, you have mistaken whose house you've entered. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Shattered Savannah? Cool Shattered Savannah? Hey, look at the water or lava drop. Is that the world's smallest dark oak forest right there? I don't think those are supposed to be up there. Whoa, what is all this generation, dude? Huh. <laughs> Island zombie. What are you doing, buddy? You over here digging holes? Dude, this generation around here is wild. Yeah, dude. We're gonna have a forest fire going on over here pretty soon. There's a lot of dark oak around here, though. This is like all dark oak forest, so our odds of maybe getting a woodland mansion around here might be uh, kind of... Oh, that looks kind of cool. Why did nighttime seem so insanely long when you're just boating around in the ocean? Hey, we got a boat. Let's go, baby. All right, what are we gonna get? This almost looks like the last one. No creepers or skellies or anything hanging out on you? Run! <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This game's gonna stress me out. I just need it to be daytime. That would be really nice. Oh, look at that one, dude. Boat number two on the surf. This one's like entirely on the surface and it looks like a full boat. And a village, let's go, baby. Our luck is increasing. Things are looking a little bright here. We got a village, we got a boat. It's actually kind of cool that that boat's like pulled up to the village over there and it's not sunk. Oh, let me sleep. Thank you. All right. Don't let me die. I'm so nervous right now. It's not even funny. All right, do I have sugar cane on me? I do. Let's just start getting everything going. We are gonna like try and uh, make this beginning process here a little faster than what we've been doing in the last last couple worlds. Damn, this village looks kind of nice too. Potato. 
Uh, let me make some bread. All right, got a little food. Still going to take you three hours to make an iron farm. That's probably true. All right, let's go check the boat out real quick. And we got turtles. We got boats. It's a nice village here. Oh, it's all like buried in the sand. This is kind of cool. Nice. Yeah. All right, chest one. Oh, let's go. Goated chest, goated chest. So, all right, the last chest should be back over here, right? Somewhere buried in this thing. There we go. Eh, that one was definitely not as good. We get some suspicious stew, I guess. The rest of that stuff we can leave in there. Some food, though. Oh, wait, we got this chest still, too. All right, chest three. There's our map. All right, out of the boat. We're gonna go drop some stuff off over here at one of these houses real quick, clear out the inventory, and then we'll go try and find that treasure map. Hey, Val. <laughs> you know when i first added that creeper sound i was kind of like almost against it i was like i don't want to have this thing on here that like i feel like i need to like make fake reactions to as people use it, it they're not even fake reactions anymore oh check that out dude there's another one right here all right let's drop some stuff off in a chest over here my house we got two white wool we need to go find a sheep that is something we need to do right away buried treasure map we need that keep this on us in case we need to make more food and then Give me this and we'll make one more pickaxe real quick. Let's go. Oh, he's cool. Actually, I'm going to get my boat because I'm just, I'm scared to go in the water at this point right now. I literally called it too. I was like, as long as there's not a trident here, dude, we're good. Or a trident dude here, we're good. Looked around, didn't see one. Turned back around, my boat is obliterated into a thousand pieces. And all of a sudden I'm getting smoked with a trident. Is that the only chest in here though? Just the one in this one? It's a little more confusing when they're upside down. All right, yeah, that's the only one in here. Oh no, let's go, one more. Whew. All right, we got two treasure maps to go check out. Carter lost his sea legs. Dude, I've lost just my legs in general. <laughs> Minecraft is uh, debilitating me right now. All right, let's throw map ID zero, map ID one. All right, let's go zero first. All right, map number one, boys, where are we going? Wait, offhand. So let's see here. There you go. I need my dot to start moving. Am I going the wrong way? We gotta be going the wrong way. Starting to move on the map at all yet? No? Okay, now we're moving on the map. Oh, wait, you know what? I, I didn't bring my bed with me. Retreat! <laughs> Retreat! Back to the house! All right, let's bring this with us this time. Is that a geode right there? No? All right, are we gonna start showing up on the map or is it the other way? Hey, there's another sunken ship, isn't it? Yep. All right, it's gotta be the other way, so let's just check this sunken ship right here before we lose it. And then, uh, um, was that it? Oh, uh, am I gonna be too close? Oh, <laughs> this is scary. Do we go for it? Do we go for it? <gasps> go, 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 go. Let's go. First diamonds, baby. Oh, no. Don't go towards that. <laughs> First diamonds. Let's go. I need to go down and see if there's another chest in that, though. That's just, that's terrifying how close it is. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. Where's the boat? Um, all right. We need to get air. Make sure there's nothing down here coming towards us. I don't like being this close to that right now. Did I go on the top one the first time? I did, didn't I? Did I go on the bottom one? We went in the top one. Oh, there's a door right here. I can breathe. Let's go. Nice. Couple books, more paper. I'll take it. Another map. All right, let's get out of here and let's go try and find this buried treasure now. First diamond, so let's go. Too bad we didn't get three. We could make a diamond hoe though. Wait, I'm going the right way, right? That's behind me. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, dude. First hardcore world that we've got diamonds in, baby. <laughs> we didn't mine them, but we got our first diamonds in hardcore. Let's go. Probably find a diamond in that next one. Oh, in the, the chest. That would be tight. Wait, is this another? No, that's the one at the island. Okay. Is it going to be on this little shore right here on that guy? No, that's too bad. Big, ain't it? Oh, yeah, let's go. We're showing up on the map, baby. We go through this way. Hey, baby, let's go. I'm really bad at this, so we might end up digging a lot of gravel. Let's line ourselves up a little better here, maybe. Somewhere like right here. Make a door and stand in it. I don't even know if I have wood on me right now. I don't. We can go mine a tree down though real quick. See, that's another thing you can't do in Bedrock. I remember the first time that I tried going into an ocean monument, I tried doing that strategy and it does not work on Bedrock. At least it does didn't then, it might now. You know how to F3 it? No, I don't. The treasure chest is always at nine by nine. All right, let's drop down, door, bam. All right, so in the chunk, within the sub chunk, press F3. Where am I looking at on here? Oh, I see it now, I see it now, I see it now. So I want to be at nine, eight, nine. So it's this one right here. 
Look at you guys teaching me new things in Minecraft. F3 menu, dude. Game changer. What do we get? Oh, TNT? A little gold? No diamonds, though. We'll take the iron and stuff, though. Not bad. Not bad. Where'd my boat go? Pro gamer shit? Yeah, dude, for real. You guys will uh, teach me how to play this game eventually. <laughs> All right, now let's see if I open map one, if it's the, the same. Only been a few years, but you finally learning? Yeah, dude. About a few. <laughs> few is an understatement. All right, we're just going to try and boat over this way a little bit, though, and then try and open up that second map so that way we're a little bit away from that treasure chest and see if it actually like reveals a new one or not you know kind of see what's going on around here too we got a lot of lukewarm motion it'd be nice if this is actually like warm motion though and i could actually have coral and stuff to build with somewhat early hey check that out is that one that i've already searched all right dude we got some treasure hunting to do then maybe we get another one in this boat right here i don't know if this is one i've searched yet or not catch some z's real quick is this one that i already searched or no nope let's go holy cow we're getting stacked with loot right away boys Nice, first clock. Not that uh, those things are super useful for anything, but all right, treasure map number two. Try and go this way and see if we start moving along the top edge up there. B-dubs mode engaged. <laughs> Wait, is this, this one might be the same one. If I go this way and I start showing up on the map, this one might be the same. I thought this one looked kind of similar as the first one that we did, but that uh, the second one is definitely different. Is this at the same spot? It is, right? Or is this different? No, this is the same one. Yep, all right. This one's the same, so we can chuck that map. That's the one that we already searched. On to the next one. Oh, I'm already like on the map too. Let's go. All right, F3. All right, and then where are we at now? 12, right here. All right, we got to go drop some stuff off in the chest because we are getting a little full here, boys. This is actually kind of fun. Still haven't gotten our last diamond that we need yet, but that's okay. All right, we almost got 30 emeralds already. Wait, do we still have another map or did I already look at this one? All right, these two are the same. There we go. And we got a tunic on. Oh, the chat's not under my face cam. I'm on the wrong... We're on the wrong cam. All right, let's search the rest of this village and see if there's any more chests and stuff in here and see what these guys got. Any more goodies for you, boy? Oh, oh there's water there. Hey, what's up, dude? How are they supposed to get into this house? <laughs> I can't even get into this house. <laughs> I guess nobody does get in that house. Never mind. Hey, we got a black kitty. I have fish too. Where's my fish at? Oh, so we had a skelly here. I think we got an iron golem taking care of business. Do I have any? I gotta go grab some fish real quick. No, it has to be raw. Okay, that's what I thought. And it can't be tropical fish either, can it? It has to be like cod or salmon. Oh, here we go. There's some fish. All right, now we just gotta make sure we get plenty because we could get a picky ass cat. Oh, come here. Where'd you go? Do a vegan hardcore run veggies only? No way. Why would I submit myself to that kind of torture? Come on, guys. We're we're struggling real hard here today to get through a regular <laughs> run of hardcore. You know, you're trying to give me limitations. I feel like that's like my problem is I get like a couple days into one of these worlds. I start getting just a little bit comfortable, you know, and I stop thinking that like there's any issue with me dying or like doing something because we're just doing like simple stuff for the most part usually. And uh, yeah, then we end up getting blown up by creepers. Come here, kitty. Eee, kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Eee, kitty, 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 kitty. Why do none of these villagers have jobs, by the way? They're all just sitting around here with like cheese and smiles, like they're just having a great time. Nobody's working. <gasps> no, he took two and he didn't like me yet. Eee, kitty, 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 kitty. You want some fish? You want the fish? Hey, we got a kitty. What do we name him? Look at him, dude. He's oh, dude, the fresh animations. He licks his little paw. Look at him, dude. There you go, buddy. You can look out the window. Yeah, the fresh animations are tight. All right, let's do this, though. So, you guys want to be a little part of this hardcore world for as long as it lasts? Drop a comment down below the YouTube video and leave me a name suggestion for our cat here, and we will pick one in the next episode. There you go. Name him Drywall. Why? So every time I get mad, I can be like, I'm going to put my fist through the fucking drywall. <laughs> Is that a little, a little too intense? Sorry, guys. I'll, I'll calm down. Call him Trident. Hey, you got a got a comment on the YouTube video now, boys. Name the cat CDS Creeper Deterrent System. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, give me this, give me this, give me that. All right, I think we're just going to pretty much take over this village. We'll end up demolishing these houses, build our own, name him Trident. Okay, now you guys are all just trolling me with the ways that I've died. We're going to convert this house into a cow crusher. Have you had ketchup and mayo together before? Oh, yeah. Heinz makes mayo chup now. Really? Yeah, they have mayo chup. They have cranch. Dude, uh, barbecue and ranch dressing together is also pretty fire. All right, so let's see here. What am I doing? I need to iron. Is this the only iron I have? Come here, cow. These guys are all stuck in their fence now. <laughs> Dude, will you go in your hole already? Come on, make Happy Gilmore proud. Just go in your hole. Dude, why is this wrong with this cow? Down. Hey, there we go. Good job. Let's go find one more. Where you at, cows? What was that up here? 
Is there a fire going on right over here? We got a fire, boys. We got a fire. Oh, we got a ruined portal right here. Nice. And a fire. Not nice. Let's let's get the forest fire out. We'll just leave that stuff there for right now. We can always come back and get that. But we can throw that guy on. Hey, chicken. Dude, we lost seven. Oh, we got a jungle right here. Dude, this little spot right here is kind of goaded. I'm not going to lie. Oh, what is this? Um, That is terrifying is what that is. That looks like where I'm going to die in this world. Not going to lie. This little area is kind of sick, though. Chase. <laughs> not cool. Not cool at all. Makes lining them up easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No, I don't want the sheep. I don't want the chicken. Oh, we got a bunch of eggs. What's the odds that we get chicken on number seven again? And we can have a second lucky seven. Come on, where's all the cows at, dude? I just need one more. Hey, look at there. You ask and you shall receive. We got a nice plains area over here, it looks like, with like plenty of horses and stuff. Jungle right there. We got the ocean right next to us with the ocean monument. Hey, come on, dude. Where are you, where are you going? Okay. These guys swim kind of funny in the animation. I'm not going to lie. Their legs are a little like wild. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can make it. You got it. Well, this is going to be tight. Bamboo right there. Get scaffolding right off rip. You can do it. I believe in you. No, don't turn the other way. Come back here. You smell the wheat. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. No creepers. He's back checking on his friend. Let's go. Because, dude, we get this cow crusher over here. Get a couple of these guys breeded up in here. And uh, we got enough sugar cane and paper and emeralds and everything. We can uh, we can start rolling villagers like right away here. Maybe we'll wait on building like the house and stuff like we did in the last few worlds. You know? and spending the time making like the big nice house that I was kind of actually liking in the last world. Hey, dude, get the hell out of here. Nobody asked you guys to come hang around already. But uh, yeah, maybe we kind of do some of this stuff first before we start doing builds. That way we uh, can get kind of geared up maybe before we lose like a, a house that we're enjoying. Sheep, I don't need you here. Hey, there we go. No, no, I need to get... Oh, wait. Ah, I remembered Kalen. I just feed him and then he falls in on his own. You can come up here. Let's make a little walk over for this guy. Come back. You can come hang out in here. You can come right over in here. You can hang out right there, buddy. And then I just got to break you. I got myself a sheep. Why are you closing your eyes and like aiming at me right now? You guys just want to chill out maybe? Let him stand up. Wait, you stand up so you can find me some cool stuff. Did you find me anything? Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Giddy, where'd you go? Did you bring me anything? Did you bring me anything? He didn't bring me nothing. Oh, well. Better find me something next night. All right, those pillagers still over here? Yep. All right, let's just jump in the boat. We'll boat out that way a little bit to get those guys to despawn. My inventory's too full. I need to empty it. He might have given me something, I guess. All right. And pickaxes we'll keep. Shovel we'll keep. We still got 30 sugar cane that we can plant out here. Rabbit's foot? Oh, maybe that's what it brought me. My cat went out and killed a rabbit and then brought me its foot. That's tight. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like waking up in the morning to a dead rabbit's foot on your bed, right? All right, hopefully these pillagers are despawned now. Come on, buddies. You guys can get out of there, right? All right, what's the odds that I can get lucky and uh, knock one down and then use the breeding thing to knock in the other ones? All right, he's in. Come on. Get in there. Get in the hole. There we go. Hey, let's go. Come here, buddy. Smell the wheat. Come on up here. And back in we go. All right. We got those guys in. Got the chest all hooked up now. I need to lock some of these villagers in before we end up having a night here and lose a bunch of them. Oh, they're trying to go to the house that I... Oh, wait. Here. I'll give you guys... Oh, wait. Let me have this. I'll take some ink sack. All right. Now you can get inside. Okay. Now I guess they just don't want that house now. Villagers are weird, dude. Go inside. There's a house right here. Oh, and you're just going to run. Okay. Y'all make so much sense, you know? You made it all the way to that house, and then you turned around. Go inside. All right, it's almost night. Of course, these guys don't know how to get out of here. Oh, my God. They're all just... What are these villagers doing, dude? <laughs> hey, look at the kitty, dude. Main thing we just got to make sure we do with each of these hardcore worlds is just kind of learn from our mistakes. Hopefully not like make the same one twice. Steal some wood from me, this little house here. And then we don't have to worry about going around the trees and getting blown up by a creeper. Yeah, I don't know. We had a rough start. We lost the world or whatever, but uh, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm I'm having fun doing the early game stuff. We can get this to the point where they're at least like, oh, wait, where'd all the cows go? Oh, I don't have the bucket of water in there. There we go. <gasps> no, 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 no. Bad. Why am I doing this today? No, that's milk. That's not what I want. I want the water. What's the odds that I'm going to be able to grab this? Oh, I got it. Let's go, baby. Now let's go make our axe. And then we can throw the water down in there. I did not think I was going to be able to snake that out of there. All right. Then we put water in. There we go. Now feed the cows. And they're bouncing up and down like that. It makes it way easier to, like, reach all the other all the cows because they kind of alternate back and forth. All right, though, guys. Build a house. I think, uh, like we said earlier, we're going to save the, the building houses and stuff like that until we kind of, you know, get a little geared up. That way we don't spend a bunch of time building a house like we did on the last couple worlds and uh, end up losing them before we ever get, like, you know, diamond armor and stuff. This is the first world we even got a diamond in. <laughs> and I've already built, like, three houses that are all gone. Is this horse fast? I need to 
get re-download the, the horse stats mod. Did we get him? Nope. Not yet. There we go. I'm a banana. They need to rename the horse stats mod to beat ups mod. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I think that dude has done more for pushing horses in this game in the last couple of years than anybody. He's been a, a major advocate for horses. That is for sure. No, I think what we're going to probably do on this hardcore world, at least try, is uh, kind of establish a little base of operations, you know, like here. Get ourselves all our enchantments and everything, and then we'll go out kind of and find somewhere to like actually build our actual base once we're actually built up a little bit and can maybe survive like a creeper exploding because i guess a uh, full iron armor does not protect you from a creeper you weren't using the shield well i didn't see him he was behind me i would have used the shield i went up and got it i had it on me i just you know got blown up for a second time by a creeper that i never seen on screen i seen him when i was walking down he went forward there was a little turn to the right i thought he went that way and i there was either another one behind me or uh that one ended up taking a different route than i originally thought all right we got food set up though we got sugar cane all set up we got a decent amount of loot going around and doing the buried treasure and the sunken ships. And I think we got a like decent little start on this world now. It's unfortunate we lost the last world. We were kind of getting a decent little go on that one and I was actually pretty happy with how the house and everything was turning out. But you know, you live and you learn. Just try not to make the same mistakes twice and uh, see if we can maybe survive a little bit longer in this world and uh, see what happens, I guess. Let's go check our chest out here real quick. We'll get all the loot moved inside, I guess. That way this isn't just randomly sitting out of here in case something ends up happening. Hope you guys at least uh got a laugh or two out of the the l's i took today but i know in next episode we'll pretty much be like almost where we were at last episode obviously we don't have the house built and everything but as far as like progression wise i'd honestly say we're like almost farther now than we were last episode already just because we've found diamonds we've at least got a couple and we got like food set up already the only thing we don't have is the iron farm but we got the village here obviously so that won't fingers crossed take us as long as it did last time hopefully we can do that in like the half hour that it's uh uh, supposed to actually take next episode and then we can have that all set up and uh i have uh, yeah i do have iron since we found all the chests and everything in the sunken ships and the buried treasure that definitely gave us like a really good jump start compared to where we were at in the last episode and trying to like do everything manually in that like little tiny cave that we were finding that and we got sugar cane and everything all started so we can get paper and everything going to get emerald trades uh we have pumpkins i think that we already found we can start growing those next episode and getting a uh, little garden and everything set up so somewhere around here and then maybe tear down like a bunch of these houses and uh you know start getting our little our little village area set up here but hope you guys enjoyed today i had fun unfortunately we lost another two worlds we are on world number five now but you live and you learn right live and you learn just gotta not make the same mistakes twice we've died to two creepers so we've made that mistake twice but at least it was different each time i think the first creeper how did i die to the first creeper oh yeah that one was just on service this one at least it was in a cave so at least this one I don't know. good stream today though man sucks the uh, world three but world five is bees knees hey dude i'm enjoying it we're seeing new seeds this is something i don't do very often like i was saying most of the time we don't uh we don't do the early game stuff so fun to get to learn fun to get to see new seeds you guys are definitely teaching me new shit in the early game stuff especially like finding chests in the sunken ship oh yeah jace with the the doors slabs under the doors to get in and out with the the villagers yeah the door trick that was money it's just all these like little things that like are like super common to people that have been playing java for a really long time and uh like you know when you play bedrock for a long time you figure out the things you can and can't do but I'm going to get out of here, guys. You guys have a great night.